of the ATOS when, I, it's in, when I'm in Africa, you know what I mean? When it happens, we have a little office there, you put everything like this, and then, you know, basically, I mean, because it's a little RDP house, you know, and, and over there I have my bed and stuff like that, and blah, 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 and then we have the, the, the sitting living room with me, and then the kitchen, and then there's my wife's uh, work room, and then we have the, the, the loose, very small, small place, and then outside we built the sasa, see? The sasa is next to it, I'll talk in a second. But I realized, you know, I, you know, I wear this cap to bed. I know it's hot now, but see, the, and it, look, it doesn't matter. I know this is my sleeping cap, you know, but also because my wife made it, you know, she makes, she's a designer, right? I feel like, you know, every night when I go to bed, since she's still in Africa and I'm here, then I'm sort of sleeping with my wife. But for our purposes, I know y'all don't go into that because you're all the y'all and you got to have your images. Put something else on here. What else do I got here? Oh, what's this? Hmm. You're also image conscious. You got to have, you know, got a little bit of meat. They even got, <laughs> they all even got Bernie coating his hair and, and, and groomed up and all the rest of that stuff. Man, okay, I understand though, so whatever, so so yeah. But you see, hey, I can look good, but I want, I, I, I saw this on the bed. Let me show you what I mean. Because, you know, I'm at my sister's house. This is a sunset that's now in Virginia. And, uh, you know, got stuff down books here, got old photos. Right? This is a, I found some sort of sitting there in this photo. For instance, this photo of uh, this Mario Murillo and some ambassador, something like that. We went to some sort of function, you see? So, you know, they always, you know, Mario's case. Does Mario have a tie on? No, no, good for Mario. He doesn't even have a tie. I don't, know where, I don't wear ties either. So he got a tie on. Because, you know, he was, the, he was the public affairs director when I was arts director at WBA. And some sort of diplomat here. Oh, oh look at who! This is, um, okay, this is a picture of, uh, I don't know if you can really see this, but I'll tell you what it is. This is a picture of uh, um, James Small. Uh, this sister here, Asantua, I forgot what her name is, but she, her, she was in the, the, the Valley of the Dolls part two. No, that's man, but she's a producer at WBAI. And this is just John Hendrick Clark, the great and mighty warrior. Okay? Uh, what else? I must have taken that picture. Oh, okay, here, look. Now you say, looks, okay, I understand. When I was arts director, I had to, you know, this is a great story. I tell you, when I was arts director, I used to dress whatever I dressed, because I'm just producing, I'm, I'm a sound gatherer, you know, I'm, I'm archivist, whatever, and, you know, do interview, all that stuff. But when I became arts director, I had a position. So, so Carolyn Overdog, bless her heart. She said, Anthony, now you have a position of responsibility, you have to dress differently. So she took me to all these thrift stores in, in New York and New Jersey. We got whole outfits, something like that. What she said, she said, this is her exact word. She said, any schmuck can take a thousand dollars and go to Barney's and just get blah, 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 blah. But it takes a real genius to go to these little, you know, these shifter shops and get really quality stuff. So she went, we went out shopping, man. She got me like a thousand dollar money suit. This is back in 1990. 1990, 1991, 1991. Like a thousand dollar money suit from like, must have been like $25, something like that. But anyway, so this is me. I, this is, I think this is that suit. And I know it's my outside of t-shirt. Uh, well, this is me. Is this the office? This is my office. This is before, I think, this is the arts office, but before, I think it's, I don't know what this is. It's just in one of common area. See that? You see that? So I can dress, or I used to can dress when I want to, when I need to. But talking to you guys, remember, you know, you can turn the looks. You, you don't like what you look like. Someone else is on here. You can turn the, there's another picture of me. Like that. See, there's another picture of me when I was in, this is Montreal. This is Montreal. What's that? Canada. See, see, see. And this is a, what, this one here, okay, remember, and this cloth that this uh, drape, you see, now everybody used to wear a kente cloth, this was another kind of African cloth back then. Because what? I don't do what everybody else does, I do what I want to do, right? Okay, sit up, like that. Water. Ah, water's important. Oh, oh 
by the way, let me just say before I get to this, I'm sort of building, you know, the sausage, no, not the sausage, I'm sort of building the desk here, you know what I mean? My latest sign, I'm, see, sus hut. show you this story real quick. This is in another video. Maybe I listen here when I talk to Mr. Tolly. See, Mr. Tolly, this is Mr. Tolly here. What do I mean? It's sus hut. It's like this, sus hut. And this is Limbete, because it's in Limbete. Limbete is, um, it's like a, uh, it's a location right outside of Alice or the, uh, the closer pronunciation with Eddie Kenny, right? And, in, in, but don't worry about it. Uh, oh, in the Eastern Cape of Southern Africa. See, I say Southern Africa. Why? So, I say Southern Africa, which is only one Eastern Cape. And that's in Southern Africa. Because I don't respect, I do respect, no, I don't respect borders, even though I got to passport myself through things, right? but I don't respect borders. I don't, I don't think they're like necessary. We're peoples, right? Established in 2019, establishment progenitors. I love that word, progenitors. You know, progenitors, like, like for instance, uh, um, Yvette Cornell, you know, Miss Yvette, and uh, attorney, uh, Antonio Moore, you know, Attorney Moore, they're progenitors of the ATUS movement, right? Okay. Uh, Mr. Willie and Peter, RSA, like because he's from the Republic of South Africa, that's his origin. He's so tactless to that thing. Anthony J. Sloan, A D O S, American, descendant of chattel slavery. Right there. It's like, it's official. I'll put that on, I'll put that on everything. Like a, this stuff. Okay, back to the real point. Um, now, the first thing I did when I got to the States, the very first thing, uh, is I uh, ordered a book. Da -da! The United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. A compensatory counter racist code. Uh, copyright 2016. Nearly Fuller Jr. He wrote this, right? But this is the. 2016 revised edition, right? Revised and expanded edition, what it says right there. It's a textbook, workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism. And then it got in the, in the brackets there, white supremacy. You see? So this is the new book. I'll do it like that. Right? Now I have the old book too. Can I say something? Uh, maybe I'll try to call in and explain it soon. It's always the people keep on. They, they say, "Well, we need. Uh, we like the old edition." I looked on the web page, and the old edition like sold out, right? But I got the old. My old edition was 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 gifted to me by a uh, by my fraternity brother, uh, uh, Professor Wall, Doctor James Conyers. Uh, uh, Doctor Conyers, the you know head of the king, whatever. It doesn't matter. And he had it in the book. I said, "Oh, and this is like four whatever four years ago. Whenever it was three or four years ago when I was here last." And so I took that book. It's the original book. It's like this. This is this book. The original book is like, like that big, right? It's also like a paper thing, right? So I took me back to Eddie Kenny or Alice to you. I'm gonna say Eddie Kenny. Y'all don't care anyway. I took it someplace, <laughs> and there um, they have the Lovedale Press. The Lovedale Press is famous. Well, famous. What they used to do back in the day, back in the day of apartheid, they would print up all of the all of the material from the from the you know all of all of from the from A and C and stuff like that. I'm not talking about the the London you know, the, the the London continuum, the one that uh, we we'll get to you know, you know, the, the, the 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 London folks, you know, the one that had the all the white folks and that, that were out of the uh, London School of Economics, was it? And, and they was in South Africa, and they would they would go places, and they would set off these these. These bombs, but it's not well bombs that would have tracks on 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 what the A and C, you know, was up to. That's what they would do, and then people would get word because people didn't know what was going on. They would set up in places like like railroad places, and it would it would and it would spread all over. It wouldn't hurt anybody. Spread all over, like. Right? So anyway, the, that's what they did. And they actually kept the movement going because that's what people people were informed. People were informed. But it's like right now, this YouTube and all or YouTube, but you know, the whole social media. This is how people get informed now. So no matter how much they did these al algorithms that push people down, you have to make sure you get your favorites. You keep on belling your people, right? And you know, you, you know, in fact, I, I don't really do this, but you know, if you're if you listen to this channel, what you should do is you should uh, or subscribe. Hit the bell, and then when the, when the when the thing comes up, you know, just like it automatically. If you see a title that you like, 
you know, look at it. If you don't, keep on going. Okay. Anyway, um, but the thing is that and I, when I went to Love the Press, I had it bound, you know, like a bound and hard bound, you know, like that. And so that's what I have down in in, in Lebete, right? And that's what the kids, you know, folks with me they, down there. They they read, you know, we, we different times you look at the you know, we, we look at what he's saying and because it's like a code but it's like an individual code you don't you know you, it's an individual code it's your individual choice and there's certain things that you go by and I use that code I, I'm like a uh, it's like ADOS is like my political head you know like that right uh, but the code uh, um, Nearly full is cold. Is what is how I walk. It's how, it guides me. It's, remember, it's individual codes. I'm, I'm not you don't push on anybody. You, you get what you get. But anyway, so I think the difference is that there's something about that book. It's just the way the the the, the way it's how it's, it's it's like it's like okay, everybody. I can reference it. It's like Prince. You know what I mean? When Prince first started, you know, those early albums, Softer, where, you know, uh, th th those early albums, right? It's rough. In fact, if you see um, uh, the, 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 those early videos, like, uh, you know, like, uh, like, um, uh, like Lady Kid with Lady Cat Driver, you know, uh, uh, Little Red Corvette, and he's performing, it's raw. It's like something something about it and then as it goes on of course in 1999 whatever even 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 you know, when doves cry it's, it's a little bit more slick you know what i'm saying and then finally you know you get you know you get to the parade or it's a really really slick you know uh kiss and all that stuff really slick but for me like i just always think of that you know when when des dickinson was in the band that kind of thing don't give me no every they're great blah blah i understand that i don't know but there's something about that raw thing there's something about that thing that's so good. So I think that, you know, I just think that I haven't, I haven't really looked through, or I have looked at some of the things, so they have something I was looking at. And the way, by the way, the way you read, uh, the way you deal with um, Miss Neely Fuller Jr.'s book is you, be, you treat it like a, actually like a Bible. You open it up, you know, someplace, you know, and you just you just, you just, you just read what he says. I'm going to treat something small. Uh, um, something small. I don't want to read small, so I don't want to mess with I don't take a long time on this. Um, da, 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 da. I just want to. Uh, do not take a vacation or wait for a vacation. Make a vacation and make every uh, uh, make one every day wherever you happen to be. Okay. Do something that will constructively stimulate and or freshen your mind and your body. For instance, uh, sit uh, quietly and think constructive thoughts. Hmm. Write a plan for future constructive activity. Uh, writing is a very interesting thing. If you write, you're thinking differently, and then you, instead of typing, instead of uh, tweeting or whatever. So I'm not, it's an individual thing, so I can't tell you what to do. Right? Engage in some constructive physical work of your choice. Hey, this was physical work put this up there. But it's constructive as far as I'm concerned. It's my individual thing. Read in a relaxed manner some writings that will give you constructive information. I'm currently reading uh, it's over there the, the, this thing with, uh, uh, this thing about uh, Joe Lewis and, uh, and Jesse Owens and their friendship. Great book, right? Um, and I'm reading it slowly because I want it to last, okay? Uh, da, 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 da. Um, uh, engage in constructive conversation. Okay. Now I had a uh, we'll get to you. It's a constructive conversation. I, I, I had a really good conversation the other day. I picked up my sister from work, and uh, you know it's way out there. And while I was waiting for it, there was a there was a veteran in a you know wheelchair, no legs or whatever have it because she doesn't matter. So I started talking to him. He's down here in Virginia. Very constructive, you know. Something like 75 years old, but he was telling me he remembered, you know, when when, when you walk on the street and if the, if the white girl was walking, you had to really get out the way, you know, because she could just say something and you'd be, you know, what I'm saying. He was talking about, I mean, he was just talking about lots of how how in this area we just uh, this, the tide water, but the, the Hampton Roads area it was it was like total military, you know what I mean? It's like a lot of navy and you know all those sellers were coming there. There was a lot of tattoo parlors because they were to put tattoo. And I said, well, what about the women? Oh, there's a lot of women around, of course. Because oh, okay, anyway, anyway, we had a really good conversation. I'm listening to him too. He was even saying he told me about John Brown, right? And he was saying uh, that. Uh, Reason, the reason why John Brown went off, but I didn't see that movie, by the way. I'll, I'll run into it sometime. Um, um, 
he said that because they had killed his mother's father and his sister. That's what really set him off. And then he was also telling me, I said, well, how come? Well, he was telling me that he, that you know, the, the 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 mistress of the house, you know, the the woman taught him how to read at a very young age. And so he's a preacher, but they 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 like preachers. So this whole tradition of of preachers uh, leading the charge came from that, and then it just kept on kept on. But these days, preachers these days, preachers these preachers these days. I mean, a majority of them. I'm sure there's that residual of that that liberation spirit is still in in in, in, in that. In, it's still part of preaching lineage, the black preaching lineage. But hey, most of these people they're not going off to, to the other side. Worse than the other side, they they're they're really. Um, <laughs> We got a chimney ringing with these people. Anyway, um, but he was saying, well, how could they say, see that building? said, that's it. I said, because they would do it. The, 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 the slaves, they would be in these little huts. So he could actually, sometimes the big house didn't know what was going on there. So he would go into different different areas and actually be as a preacher and preaching them, but also, you see, like that. So that was very into way. To, it's just, it was just better to talk to someone and get this history because he got. And I said, "Well, how do you know?" He's, well, his mother told him. To, to, his, his, maybe his people kept on handing down these stories. Now, I've mentioned this before. Now check this out. Now, what's the first thing they did? Not the first thing, but when they were having problems with the, uh, with, 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 you know, with slaves, you know, and brought them over, and these slaves still had that warrior spirit. They went to some German guy and said, "Hey, man, we got this problem." He said, "Well, dude, what's tell me, tell me the problem." They said, "Problem, you know, that the slaves are still rebelling." Blah blah blah. He said, "Well, it was very simple. Separate them, uh, separate the children from their mother very early. Send, send them off to just because that breaks the that just break the the lineage. The, the spirit is still there, but what happens? The information is now disrupted. You see, the information is disrupted." So, see, so the mother can't tell the child, you know, or the father can't tell the child, the 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 that the, the revolutionary revolution, the spirit, the warrior spirit, the, the uh, of of their of their lineage, or even just the skills that they were handed down. So now the child is just, you know, whatever the master, whoever tells them, tells them whatever it is. And a lot of times, because Mr. Early on, because you, this 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 child can't understand another language, you know what I mean? They these people can't even tell them the language of. You see what I'm saying? So for him saying this, what, what we are, what, we, what, it's interesting because now we get books in the way, but remember, if you listen to your older people, what I'm advocating is, oh, you scholars, I, I, scholarship is, I love, scholarship is wonderful. Hey, we wouldn't be here at ADOS if it wasn't for scholarship of, of Dr. Sandra Darity and his wife, right? We wouldn't, we wouldn't, you understand? So books are useful, whatever have you. But, but if you're ADOS, you need to get out here and spend some constructive time with some older person, with some older peoples. Go visit old folks and, 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 and you know, do some voluntary work. And you find somebody that want to talk, because they want to talk. Well, what old people got to do? They, especially in that some wheelchairs, something like that. They want to hey. And I was really listening. I'm a talker. But, you know, when I interview, and when I talk to people, it's like interviewing. I actually am a listener. It's a trick. You know, it's a balance, actually. Anyway, all I'm trying to say is talk to older people. The older, the better. Even if you get, no, you, you will get something out of them. Even if it's not in the, in the spirit that's going to uh, continue to aid you, as um, you know, get us out of this, the next phase, right? You'll get something. It might. You, see, you understand what I'm saying? Oh, uh, I'm gonna stop there. So, uh, I guess that's all I wanted to say. I guess I must be. I want to say something else, but I can't. You know, image. Dealing, do it. This is a message for me, T, from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet. At a desk of the A D O S, that would be the American, North American descendants of chattel slavery. <laughs>